And now, from one 16-year-old to another, Sofia Exarkova. Who will need 59.84 points with this free skate to maintain her lead over the others at this stage. So, Sofia Exarkova, representing Ukraine, has previously had much more difficult technical content, but uh, I don't know all the stories of all the athletes, but a skater who comes from Ukraine, who has a piece of music with vocals, I Can't Change the World, just uh, to me, nothing but respect for her continuing to push herself in the competitive arena, despite presumably some of the huge challenges that she faces. Yeah, no question. And, you know, conditioning might be one of those challenges, not having enough ice time, I'm not sure. But as Jason Brown talked about yesterday in the broadcast, that when you get tired and you start to muscle, it, it, the program becomes twice as physically difficult because of um, the, having to recover from a mistake. Mm. 
mm. um, and, and pushing. If, you, if you're not in shape, then you need to, no, I'm not saying she's not in shape, but I'm just saying that if you're getting tired, then your technique is so much more important because your strength may not be there. So, but you had some good elements in the program. We saw the uh, triple saco, double toe, good quick pull in. Um, and we saw the wild camel spin here. And then she, she finally well got to back get the Yeah, edge, exactly. Yeah. And here's the choreo sequence. As well, what do you think about the choreo sequence? Why the ISU has it in here? I mean, I like it personally. It's I, beautiful. I love the fact that we have choreo sequence for the juniors and the free skate opportunity to have some sustained, prolonged edges rather than pack in so many different difficult turns as per the step sequences we see the lack of rotation and just at this point in time for that sacco obviously the energy was not there the to fatigue get. was yeah to get the quick quickness into rotation and that was jason's point we've talked about that as well and many of these skaters don't have the same facilities or ice time so their conditioning might be a little less than other athletes uh particularly early in the season now i watched the last scoop on the warm-up mm -hmm. uh on the practice session part me before this event started and that isn't an issue for those teams. They were doing a full run through in practice on the day of competition with the triple axel. Okay, one of them. But <laughs> see. yeah, that see. was fun. And Who as knows? we see Sifi here in the kiss and cry, you can see and sense the compassion from yeah. her coach towards her now, who's probably so much more mindful than we are of what they've gone through of late to get towards this event. 60.02 for Sophia in that second of the free program with a 91.77. And for the moment, Sophia will take over first place.